I'm talking with Steve from Real Gore Productions, and he's putting out a uh, sequel to his Violent Shit series called Violent Shit 3. How you doing today, Steve? I'm fine, thanks. Uh, how has the reaction been here at the Chiller Convention for your type of material? Uh, quite good, actually. Um, everyone is looking and saying, Violent Shit, wow, that sounds good. You came from Germany for this? Yeah, I came all the way from Germany just for this weekend to promote this movie. It took uh, five years to make, and uh, yeah, it's, it's selling quite good in Germany. Is there a, a big following for gore movies in Germany? Uh, yes, actually, yes, because all, all the big uh, gore movies are banned, all the Fulci and the George Romero stuff, they're all banned, so there's quite a large uh, underground market now. Mm -hmm. And what can we expect in the Violent Shit 3? Uh, well, a lot of violence, a lot of shit. <laughs> What kind of advice would you give to uh, aspiring filmmakers and video makers that want to get into this type of stuff? Um, well, I mean, they should, they should uh, copy a lot from other people. I mean, see what's good and try to copy it and uh, uh, never give up. I mean, save, save all the money and uh, uh, work on a tight budget. And uh, the, the, the be best advice would be, I guess, not to, not to give up. I mean, it took us five years to get this movie made and other people have said, no, I don't, I don't want to anymore. So just uh, hang in and hang in there and keep on going. I mean, the first movie was really done on very low budget. Just cost maybe four hundred dollars and uh, it made maybe a uh, uh, hundred times as much and then sales but um this one was quite expensive. This one took cost around fifty thousand dollars, and um, yeah, I mean we're selling it to Japan, uh, all over Europe. We're 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 looking for a distributor, and it's in the states.